Hello! In this video I'm going to look at a bit more of Derek and his wife. So this is a live video that they put out after the last video that I looked at last time. Okay, when, when it came to my relationship with God, she was already gone, she was already done, she was already, hey, she wiped her hands with me, man, and I, I can't control that, I can't, I can't tell her she's obligated. So he starts off with saying, I can't control that about his wife leaving him and I can't tell her she's obligated to stay with me. I, I can't control that, I can't, I can't tell her she's obligated. So in an ideal world, he'd be able to tell her that she's obligated to stay with him. He would be able to force her to stay, but unfortunately he can't do that. But for me and God, it was, Derek, you have to get in alignment. My purpose is bigger than the two of y'all. So according to Derek, because he couldn't force his wife to stay with him, he turned to God. And God said, never mind your relationship, that's less important. At this point, God apparently reminded Derek of how talented he is. My purpose is bigger than the two of y'all. My purpose, I gave you a purpose and I gave you gifts, so. <laughs> with that, here we are, but a lot of people, are, I think the timing is just off. So many people are sharing yeah. probably the hurt that you felt at one point. Yeah, I mean, there was definitely a lot of hurt that I had felt. I mean, we're talking about we've known each other since we were 19. But that's not what he wanted to hear about. He doesn't want to hear about how she's really hurt. Here we are, but a lot of people, are, I think the timing is just off. So many people are sharing yeah. probably the hurt that you felt at one point. Yeah, I mean... And all the years of doing it wrong, breaking up, getting back together, and all these things that were never healed from. He looks like he almost gets up and then he sways backwards. And watch how he physically tries to get away from what she's saying. So we talk about getting into a marriage, never healed from these things, and not having boundaries in place. So a combination of all these things, of course, leads to hurt. When she says boundaries, he looks to me like he's about to roll his eyes, but instead he looks upwards and he keeps looking upwards. So it seems to be another way to escape the viewers. I think he's visibly annoyed when she says she was hurt. With that, there is hurt. So was I hurt? Absolutely, there's a time that I was hurt. So was I hurt? Absolutely, there's a time that I was hurt. There's a time where I was fed up. I I mean, everything that you could think of, I did. I did. I and he looks like he's rolling his eyes again. She's going off the script. This isn't what he'd planned for. She wasn't supposed to be talking about how hurt she'd been. She was supposed to be talking about how she'd forgiven him and everything was fine. So the focus could be on what a great guy he is now instead of on her and her pain. In place. So a combination of all these things, of course, leads to hurt. But with that, we have to understand as a people that these things lead to bitter roots. They, they lead to, to hurt. They spill over into other aspects and areas of our lives. Mm. And before we know it, we're drowning. We're never happy. <laughs> we're never satisfied. So for him, that looked a certain way. For me, it looked a certain way. But while she carries on talking about her feelings, he rubs his hands together and then he picks invisible fluff off his trousers. So it seems like he's feeling anxious. He really doesn't want to be there. He wants to just disappear. And he's doing things to try to take the focus off him. I just packed up and left. I said, enough is enough. And so with that, in this new marriage, he has completely continued staying to keeping those things eliminated. She's calling it a new marriage, and this is something they both do in this video. It seems to be another way to convince herself that this is a completely different marriage that has nothing to do with the very painful one she was just in, even though it's with the same person. She isn't connecting the behaviors from the past, from, from really the, the recent past, with who he actually is as a person. I don't think this means Denia's stupid or that she lacks observational skills the rest of us have. In most cases, people do notice these things, but they don't pay attention because they're using emotional thinking. So it's really important to her to see her husband in the way she wants to see him. Because of that, she's seeing everything he says through the lens of him being a good person who's devoted to her. Letting me have access to everything and again allowing me to speak for myself okay that's where we stand and again um, we appreciate you guys and we'll see you soon and again allowing me to speak
for myself okay so i don't need him to speak for me or any of the, uh, any of these things that's where we stand and again um, we appreciate you guys and so with all of these things combined together is different i think in her mind even though this went on for many many years since they were kids you know they met when they were teenagers and they were on off all the time and i think that even though it's gone on that long she thinks of it as him malfunctioning rather than as him being himself so he's actually this really great guy who just went wrong a few times and did weird things that were out of character and now he is who he really is and this is a great new marriage his engagement in just our personal time at our time with our our family all of these things are different um, how he how he speaks, you you guys can tell in some of the video, videos that he's done that he talks different. He um, carries himself with a different air. Yep. He would do his own thing, and I would never know about it. Or he would just go and act on whatever, and then I find about out about it after the fact. And so all of these things are different. Mm -hmm. um, so no, I mean I don't I didn't hear all of what you said. <laughs> I was getting Marley. Um, but okay, the, the whole purpose of going live, first off, I mean, wh whose idea was it to go live? This seems to be a cue to her to say it was all her idea. She wants this conversation to happen and for everyone to realize that now she's fine so that people can stop focusing on her because by focusing on her and her pain, they're not noticing what a great guy Derek now is. I mean, wh whose idea was it to go live? It was my idea. I said, you know, we're going to have to go live about this, right? Okay. Because you, gotta... you guys don't know me. It's almost like he's saying, have you got that, everyone? Did you all see what she just said? His whole mood has completely changed now that she's speaking positively about him. And he's definitely not hiding from the camera now. Uh, you don't know me. You never see me. You don't know my mannerisms or anything like that. People take that whenever you're listening, you know, it's like, man, she's hurt. She's damaged. She is still wounded. Um, and I'm not saying I agree or disagree with that, but you know, what would you say to that piece of it? Um, what would you, the floor is yours. So again, he's cued her to say, I'm no longer hurt. I've forgiven Derek, so you should all forgive him. Derek's a great guy. Let's focus on that. You know, what would you say to that piece of it? Um, what would you, the floor is yours. I would say this, by his stripes, I am healed, okay? I had to do the work. I had to get with God. So she's talking about how God has healed her, and she's very enthusiastic about talking about this. And I think that's because for her, all of this is about telling people that they need God, that God can heal them, and you know, and how powerful that's been in her life. This comes in handy for Derek because her message is helping him to talk about how he's now this great guy. And so even though they seem to be actually um, working at cross purposes and his priority doesn't really seem to be about how everyone needs to put God first, even though he talks about God a lot, it seems that his priority is to say that his name has now been cleared. Okay, I've told you all what I did, now let's immediately forget it. I've been forgiven, I'm great. Let's get back to the message I'm spreading for God, which means that it's very holy and you should all listen to what I have to say from now on on YouTube and Instagram. And be honest and say, Lord, I don't deserve this. I've dealt with it for too many years and the repetitiveness of it. The things that I've seen, guys, you, you don't understand the things that I've seen, the images that I've seen, the videos that I've seen did a number on me. There was a time where I was broken and I was damaged and I am not in that place anymore. And also the, the, the biggest thing was forgiveness, right? There was, so, there was a time where I was just holding on to anger. Like, listen, if I see her on the street, you know, who's gonna stop me? It's interesting how her anger was towards the woman who was seeing her husband. She doesn't talk about being angry with her husband. And I don't know if she was or if she's never come to terms with that anger. But I think of it as another sign of denial, you know, that she's angry at somebody who she wasn't in a relationship with, somebody who didn't owe her anything. And so in that sense, hasn't particularly let her down. 
but instead of being angry at the person who has done all of these things the person who's really betrayed her she's focusing on the mistress and she's done that a lot on instagram she's talked about how obsessed she is with these different women with their bodies with what they look like when they're having sex so it seems that she's seen some sex tapes of them um, and she's studied them really carefully so um so her obsession has been with whether she measures up to these women and feeling really bitter towards them rather than feeling all of this anger towards the man who is supposed to love her and who has deeply betrayed her the reason people can do this is to save themselves from having to face so much pain about how they've been let down and about how the person they loved isn't who they thought, how they weren't seen in the way they thought they were seen in this person's eyes, that they weren't respected and to really come to terms with such a huge loss when they had been thinking that this person was you know there for them that this person was someone who meant everything to them who they could rely on but i was like you know what i learned in my journey i have to forgive she's seen some changes in him because he presumably has been making some kind of effort now that she's got back with him when in reality it seems more likely from the way he's behaving that this is another manipulation tactic that he knows that he needs to um you know behave a bit differently for her to trust him again and when she does trust him it works in his favor because there's no sign that he is now somebody who really respects his wife in these videos. So I hope that was helpful. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.